In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a great little trips tied in money concept that is going to be able to beat every single coverage of the game, absolutely obliterate cover two, give you a great chance to beat cover three, four, one play score, torch cover four, as well as match coverage. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies. For those of you that don't know, my name is Cody, and every single day we post videos that can help you become a better Madden player. Now, in kind of continuing our trips tight end series, really love this formation and really love this for this uh, offense. Actually, I actually have a full ebook on it over at my Patreon membership. If you want to become a member, it's only ten dollars a month, and it gets you access to not only my trips tight end guide, but actually all twenty offensive and defensive ebooks that I've released so far this year, as well as any new ebooks and new updates to those ebooks that we release while your membership is active. We pretty much update the membership every single week with new content and new material as the meta shifts and continues to evolve. All right, guys, we're going to be talking today about the play PA slot corner. And the reason I like this play so much is because it's going to give us something that looks, it gives us the same exact look as PA counter go, but it's going to attack the left side of the field as opposed to attacking the right side of the field. Let's jump into the play break here. So from a setup perspective, you will need outside apprentice. Ideally, you have outside apprentice and tight end apprentice in this offense. If you don't have outside apprentice, that's fine. I'll show you the secondary setup as well. But if you do have outside apprentice or if you have hot route master, I like to first start out with a smart routed skinny post on the outside receiver, as you can see right there. Next, I'm going to put the inside or the outside slot receiver on a zig route. And then thirdly, what I'm going to do with this uh, tight end right here, I like to either put him on a in route and smart route it or a curl. Typically, it's going to be a curl. My first read on the play is always my little zig here. If I could take the flat, I'm going to take the flat. As you can see right there, it's a great man and zone beater. And it's really just a simple route. It's going to force the opponent to keep themselves honest. Now, the main route on this play, however, is this corner route. What you're going to see is this corner route is going to run right at about 30 yards to the sideline. As you can see right there, they're going to have to have a 30-yard cloud flat on the left side of the, frill, the field uh, to be able to stop this, path, this uh, concept. Now, uh, as far as cover four drop, like I said, what you're gonna see about this tight end curl, you can actually playmaker this if the play does break down. So you can playmaker to the left um, or to the right and try to kind of fit it in if you need to. Uh, but the other thing that I like to tell people uh, whenever I'm teaching this concept is, again, you have to understand that more than likely they're gonna already be Maybelline the right side of the screen. So it's very unlikely they're gonna have a yellow zone over there. If they do have a yellow zone, then that means there's typically gonna be a 30 yard cloud here, a curl flat zone here, an underneath hook curl here, and they're gonna use her in that little pocket right there. If that's the case, that's what I like to use my smart route in route because now they're gonna their user's gonna have to choose: am I gonna go guard the deep dig or am I gonna guard that uh, that deep in route to the tight end, which is gonna run all the way across the formation. So that's how I like to use this play against cover four drop. Against cover four match this is probably one of my favorite plays if someone is running uh, match consistently. I want you to see what this concept is if they run match coverage, the circle receiver should be wide open to the outside, as you can see right there, it's wide open on the outside for an easy, you know, 50 yard gain. If they're running cover three, this is one of my favorite beaters for cover three, and the reason why is because the cover three outside third will suck inside. It's gonna leave this whole pocket out here to throw, and as you can see, that's gonna go about 35 to 40 yards. So even if they're in a cover three Mabel, like a Mike Blitz three, where they have uh, their double flatting, and they have a cloud flat and a hard flat, and they have the cover three coverage, you're gonna notice that a lot of times, this outside corner route is gonna get over the top of that Mabel, and the reason why is because he's gonna suck inside, as you can see, and that leaves that pocket right there to be able to throw it over the top of the defense. Now, like I said in the intro, this is a very, very effective cover two beater, and I'm gonna show you that right now. What makes this so good against cover two is the fact that the deep halves really aren't that good this year, to be honest, and especially against skinny posts, they really tend to struggle. So what you're gonna see is if they are in cover two, this skinny post is going to be able to beat that over the top, as you can see right there. I'm gonna take that mid read away because most of the time people are gonna be usering that defender, and obviously they're gonna to have to make a decision. Am I gonna guard the tight end post, or am I going to guard the, um, am I gonna go, go guard the tight end post, uh, or am I going to guard the, you know, deep skinny post, or the tight end in route, or whatever you like to use. Like I said, the in route is really, really underrated. If you want to use that smart rented in route, I think that's a great idea, because it really pushes all the coverage over that side, and then as you can see, you get yourself a good opportunity to hit this over the top against cover two. So as you can see, this formation and this uh, concept really pushes the zones. And if you think about it again, what are people going to be doing in terms of how to go defend this? Well, a lot of times you're going to get this right here. You're going to get a, a double Mabel over here with maybe like a deep half. 
and then you're typically going to see here a purple and a yellow zone over on this side. That's all to stop PA counter grow. They have to have five zones on the right side of the screen, which is only gonna leave them three zones and their user uh, to the left side of the screen. So what you're gonna see here is it's gonna give you a little bit of an illustration of how this is gonna work. But let's say that they follow the quarter route because a lot of times that's what their user rules uh, tell them they have to do. If you take that tight end and you put him on that five or 10 yard in route, what you're gonna see is they're gonna follow that corner. It's gonna leave that pocket wide open. And as you can see, you can beat the defense that way. And this is also a really good man beater. One of my favorite man beaters in the game, especially if you wanna put that tight end in route out there. By utilizing the tight end in route, it makes this a very, very effective and very efficient man-to-man -man coverage beater because we have the zig if they're playing an off coverage as you can see right here this corner route also is going to beat man coverage especially if you have an ability like a route tech or a short out elite short in elite i'm sorry or a um, slot matic as i do in this video so as you can see right there we're able to beat man-to-man -man coverage to the sideline even with two purples uh, let me show you real quick uh shaded up man-to-man -man. so if they're shading up trying to kind of protect a little bit from the deep bomb what you're gonna notice within this is this little whip right here is going to absolutely shred it for just a simple five to 10 yard game. And then as far as the middle of the field, this is again, a choice for the user. The user has to choose, am I gonna go guard the tight end in route or am I going to guard the deep skinny post? Whichever I choose, I'm gonna be wrong. In this example, they choose the end or the deep post. And as you can see, I'm able to hit the in route or the middle of the field. And then this example right here, they're going to choose the deep in route to the tight end. The problem, however, is they're going to completely forget about the fact that you've got a nice little deep skinny post going over the top of the defense for a one play touchdown. PA slot corner is a very important play in the trip tight end offense. It really allows you the opportunity to attack a side of the field that oftentimes, ironically, you don't really attack the trip tight end. Now, lastly, I wanted to give you one additional setup for those of you that don't have Hot Route Master. What I like to do if I don't have Hot Route Master is I'm going to streak the outside slot and then that's pretty much it. Honestly, um, if you want to, you can zig Mike Evans and then do the smart route of the in route to the tight end or you can leave it as it is. And what you're gonna see here is now you're gonna get a little bit more of a traditional clear out concept. And as you can see, it's still able to beat the defense regardless of what they do. Now, ironically, this might even be a little bit better of a concept specifically against cover four palms or any of the cover four match coverages because as you can see right here, that corner route almost always will burn the match coverage for at least 50 yards, if not in one play touchdown. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Also, if you wanna check out my true fan membership or my Patreon membership, you're gonna be able to get access to all my eBooks, including my Trips Tight End eBook. So if you wanna sign up for that today, it's only $10 a month. There's a link in the description below if you wanna go check that out. Thanks for watching the video. Also, a quick reminder, I'm gonna be streaming over on my Twitch channel. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description if you wanna go hit a follow over there. But I'm going to be streaming live on my twitch.tv slash CodyBallard0531 channel. We're going to be starting our schedule tomorrow, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, from 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time to 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. You can pretty much guarantee that I'm going to be live. So thanks for watching. If you want to check out my Twitch stream, there's a link in the, in the description for you to be able to go check that out. And also, if you want to join our Patreon membership, it's only $10 a month. Get you access to all the eBooks as well as all the updates. And there's a link in the description. If you want to go check that out, head on down to the description below and check out the, check out the uh, Patreon membership.